Good afternoon on Tuesday the 6th of June. Many of the schools had an inset day yesterday, but they're now back in full swing. That is, except St. Aidan's, who still have this week off holiday. A prayer for this time of the day. O oh God, the source of all good desires, all right judgments and all just works, give us that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and that freed from the fear of our enemies, we may pass our time in rest and quietness through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Today's readings are Psalm 9 and Luke chapter 10, verses 38 to 42. There's a lot of talk at present about making ends meet. Last Saturday was the Mill Hill Family Festival, which was very well attended and enjoyed by everyone. We were blessed with wonderful weather, and the fact that most of it was free meant that people could enjoy themselves without thinking whether they could afford it. The festival was on at the same time as the FA Cup final. As I watched footage of Manchester City fans celebrating as I relaxed later on in the day, I found myself puzzling how these loyal fans were able to afford it all. A day out at Wembley doesn't come cheap, and neither do seats at the Etihad Stadium, Manchester City's home ground. Then they've travelled around England and Europe, supporting their team, culminating with Istanbul this coming Saturday. Some years ago, I knew a person who owned a butcher's shop in Burnley. The year that Burnley had a trip to Wembley, the takings and profits at the butcher's nosedive. The people couldn't really afford the Wembley trip so they skimped on food for the next three months. Yet food is a basic necessity of life. It keeps us going. That's why Martha and Mary offered hospitality to Jesus at the end of a hard day of ministry and travelling around. Martha was anxious to ensure that Jesus was well fed and, com and as comfortable as possible. She really wanted to be that perfect host. Yet as important as that was, with all the activity linked to it, Jesus reminded Martha and us as well, not to forget how important it is to make space in our busy lives to listen to God and to spend time with him. Today we're going to pray our community prayer. Loving Lord, we thank you that you are already everywhere. We pray for the area of Mill Hill, Gallagher's, Bank Top and Hutton. We think of everyone who lives in these areas, all who work there, and those who pass through them during their daily life. We ask that you give us the eyes to see your vision for these places. Amen. For today's prayer points, let's pray for young people who are continuing with important exams. Pray for the community where you work. And pray for anyone who is unwell, particularly if that is linked to a lack of food and nutrition. The Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. 
I hope that you manage to continue to enjoy these long, hot evenings while they last. And our blessing for today, the glory of the Father, the peace of the Saviour, and the power of the Holy Spirit be within you and about you, and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you and your family and friends today and evermore.